I'm Andy Costello, your professional real estate broker. I'm here with Megan Andy with the Pink Lemonade Project. Tell us a little bit about what Pink Lemonade Project is. Uh, Pink Lemonade Project was founded in 2010 by Dr. Alan Gabriel. He noticed an absence of services in Clark County for people uh, affected by breast cancer. And so he started putting together um, programming through uh, some of our partner social workers with the assistance of the wonderful Jeannie Furstenberg um, for people who were impacted by breast cancer experiences, both patients and survivors. Uh, and so we continue to do that to this day with a series of um, different programs including retreats, support groups, um, mentorship, and then we've actually launched two new programs this year, including a book bank to help facilitate conversations with kiddos and a financial assistance program. Wow, you've got a lot going on here. We are busy. Yes. <laughs> so you've been around for almost a decade now. What's been one of the biggest challenges that uh, you've encountered maybe since your time as director or uh, your involvement with the organization? You know, I think the organization has been really challenged by program growth because there was a there was a big um, kind of movement towards, okay, let's do things this way, and, and it wasn't really what the community needed or asked for. So one of my assignments when I came in it was really a mandate from the board was to develop new programming that was really responsive to community need. And so we brought together some really fabulous, wonderful people, both our partner clinicians and our mentors, to discuss what they saw as the need in our community. And um, gratefully, they were so responsive and helpful and really wonderful in um, giving us their feedback and so we were able to create both the book bank and the pink practicalities our financial assistance program um, from their input well that's amazing you what do you attribute some of the success that you've had that you've been able to grow and expand your programming and your staff and you know your outreach in the community well and and we've had very rapid growth in the last couple of years um, we've actually gone from a one staff member four program three program um, project to uh, six programs two new initiatives and three full staff people in just over two years and so I think the biggest thing is um, we've got major buy-in from the breast cancer community from our partner clinicians across all different um, health systems including Legacy, Peace Health, uh, OHSU, Compass Oncology, um, and some really fabulous support in our community. We have a really terrific board um, who's really made up of some really brilliant people, survivors, um, husbands of survivors, and uh, just really terrific invested partners. That's a f fantastic, because obviously that, that is working, that you're growing and you're expanding your reach. What's one thing you would want the community to know about the Pink Lemonade Project? Pink Lemonade Project is about serving all people who are affected by breast cancer. We're not just about breast cancer patients and survivors. We are about the people who are impacted surrounding those people mm -hmm. as well. So families, partners, children, even you know, support um, people like the adult children who are caring for their mother, or um, close friends and family. It's not just about the survivor. We really want to be there for the entire um, breast cancer community. That's amazing. Well, if you were to put a message on a billboard about the Pink Lemonade Project, what would you want that to say? Uh, I actually started this tagline when I started with the organization because it made me laugh. Um, it says, hashtag making lemonade, and um, that's what we're doing. I love it. Uh, tell everybody if they want to get involved, learn more, what's the best way to reach out and to make contact? So there are two really great avenues for communicating with us. One is our website, which has information about all of our programs, great ways to support us. Um, it's pinklemonadeproject.org, fairly simple. Uh, and there, just FYI, you can get a uh, order form for a pink cart, which you can find um, across town. They are recycling bins, they'll come, Waste Connections will come out and replace your blue recycling bin with a pink one uh, for a one-time hundred dollar donation to Pink Lemonade. The other thing is our Facebook group is, or our Facebook um, page is very large um, and very involved and so we get quite a bit of um, information out through that avenue and there's always great ways to support us, great areas that you can engage with our programming and stories about the amazing people we're involved with. Great. Thank you so much, Megan. I appreciate your time. Thanks, Sandy. Thanks for popping by. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this week. I will catch you next week. Take care, everybody.